Hi there, this is Paul Tannehill. In this screencast, I'm going to share how to include a little link in the body of an email message that makes it super easy and convenient for people to click on and add a calendar event into the Google Calendar. So have you ever received an email message with information regarding an upcoming event, a meeting or a party or any kind of session that you're going to want to attend? And you read through the body of the email and you see indicated here the time and the date and the location of the event. And it's implied here at this point that you're going to need to go and make some kind of calendar event a reminder for yourself to attend this event. Problem is, the more people that a message like this is sent to, the more chance of potentially someone getting the time and or the date and or the location slightly off so they might miss the meeting. So let's make it easy for people and include a little link here. I'm just going to indicate maybe something along the lines of add to Google Calendar. We're going to make that a link here in this next process. Before I do that though, we need to check the settings for the calendar itself. Let's say I was going to put an event on this calendar right here. Look at these three dots, the options down to the settings and sharing area. Within there, I'm going to look at the access permissions area and make sure the calendar itself is set for public availability. Over to the right of that, I want people to be able to see all event details so they can see time, date, location, description, etc. Once that's done, I can go and go to the next step. So I'm in the process of making a new Google Calendar event. I've given it a name and a date, a start time, an end time, and a location for the event. I want to make sure that I put it on the calendar that I want it to go on to, in this case, this one. I want to give it some kind of description. And back up here, though, I want to make it the default visibility, in this case, public. I'm going to need to save this event and then go right back into it to edit it. And so this is my cool camo background. I'll cover that in a future screencast. So I just want to get back into the editing mode. And after I've created and saved the event initially, up by the Save button, I see More Actions. Click on that, and I want to publish the event. And right here, this will give me a link to the event, and I just click Copy and close it. I can go and save it now again if I need to. Go back to the email message. All I've got to do is select that copy that says Add to Google Calendar, or whatever you want it to say, essentially. You want to click the little link button down here, or Control-K or Command-K on the keyboard and just paste that thing right in there and click OK. Now, when your email recipients get this message, they won't have to go pluck out the start time, end time, date, time, location, etc. All they're going to need to do is click on this Add to Google Calendar link and they'll be taken to a view of the event that they can simply save it as indicating that they want to attend the event on their Google Calendar. So this process makes it super easy and convenient for people to click a link that shows up in your email message to make sure they have your event showing up on their calendar. Pretty spiffy, huh?